So welcome back to our lecture. So I just want to touch base on one more thing about the black and white thinking, the polarized thinking. So a, pers a person with black and white thinking sees things only in extremes. So an example is a person might tell themselves, I will always, always fail when I try to do something new. I therefore will fail at everything I try. So you kind of see this black and white thinking, meaning like, okay, if I try something new and I fail, that means I will, anything that I try that's new, I will fail. So overgeneralization is the next one. So in this cognitive distortion, a person comes to a general conclusion based on a single incident or a single piece of evidence. So it's kind of similar to black and white thinking or polarized thinking. But if something bad happens just once, they expect it to happen over and over again. So mean how like that something bad happens to them that once, and therefore every experience they have in their life, something bad's going to happen. So a person may see a single unpleasant event as part of a never ending pattern of defeat. So example is my friend is not calling me today. They must not want to be friends with me with me anymore. So meaning how it's like, okay, my friend's not calling me today. So therefore they don't want to be friends with me anymore. So it's, and they don't take into consideration how like maybe that friend has had an emergency or they just forgot or something, or they got distracted. So it's just kind of all or nothing. So jumping to conclusions. So without individual, individual saying so, a person who jumps to conclusions knows what another person is feeling and thinking and exactly why they act the way they do. So it's like, it's kind of like they're predicting what's going to happen or they feel like they know, they know what's going to happen. So in particular, a person is able to, ter to determine how others are feeling towards that person as though they could read their mind. So jumping to conclusions can also manifest itself as fortune telling where a person believes their entire future is preordained, whether it be school, work, romantic relationships. Um, so fortune telling or even mind reading is a common distorted thinking when someone is feeling stressed. Um, for example, a person may conclude that someone is holding a grudge against them, but doesn't actually bother to find out if they are correct. So me, like, let's say like this person who's who uh, is accusing another person of holding a grudge. Well, maybe that person it just had a bad morning or had something happen to them before they met with this person. But rather than the person who thinks they're holding a grudge goes up and says, hey, like what happened? Are you okay? Did I do something? They kind of assume it's, it's them. Another example involving fortune telling is when a person may anticipate that things will turn out badly in their next relationship and will feel convinced that their prediction is already an established fact, so why bother dating? So meaning how like they don't really explore the dating scene or want to go date just because they know that every relationship has turned out back bad, so what is the point? Catastrophizing is the next one. So when a person engages in catastrophizing, they expect disaster to strike no matter what. But so these are kind of like the drama queens and kings in their life, meaning like just everything they tell you is just like, it seems like there's one drama happening to them after another. And you like think it's like, could this person, does this person really have this much bad luck in their life? So that's kind of like what catastrophizing is. This is also referred to as magnifying and can come out in opposite behavior by minimizing it. In this distortion, a person hears about a problem and uses what if questions. So what if tragedy strikes? What if it happens to me? To imagine the absolute worst occurring. So I mean, like if they hear like something on the news or something that happens to another person, they kind of internalizing that. It's like, oh, like what if that happens to me? Like what would I do? So for example, a person might exaggerate the importance of an insignificant event, such as their mistake or someone else's achievement, and they internalize it and they kind of start asking these what if questions. Or they might do the opposite and they inappropriate shrink the magnitude of significant events until they appear tiny. Uh, for example, a person's own desirable qualities or someone else's imperfections.